And now to our lab. Are you ready for some incredible experiments? I've we... never seen this happen before. We're getting gross. Ah! Ah! We're going big. And dangerous. Remember, we can only do these experiments because we're doctors. Don't try this at home. Today, we're looking at your turbinates. Chris, are you giving your nose some sort of workout? Should I be giving my nose some sort of workout? No, Zand, I'm doing a mini experiment to show how your nose deals with the air you breathe. You can have a go, and Zand, you can join in as well. First of all, press your right nostril closed, and then take a breath in through the left. Now close your left nostril and take a breath in through your right. Whoa! My right nostril is stuffier than my left. And there's a good reason for that. We can see what that looks like here. Whoa! It's a cross-sectional MRI of a head. Everyone's nose is always stuffy on one side, because in your nose, the tissues on each side take turns swelling up. On this image, the tissues in the left side of the nose are swollen and blocking the flow of air, whereas on the right side, the tissues are less swollen and air can flow freely. The process where the swelling inside the nose alternates from side to side is called nasal cycling. Ooh. Nope, not that kind of cycling. By splitting the workload, each side of your nose takes a turn. And when the snot on the working side is dry and covered in bugs from the air, the other side takes over. Nasal cycling keeps your lungs healthy and infection-free, but it couldn't work without a special piece of body kit. Your turbinates! That's right, and to show you, we need to put a camera up Zahn's nose. <laughs> Zand is holding a nasopharyngeal endoscope. It's a very fancy camera, and we can see the image on this screen here. Now, Zand, put the camera up to your nose. What we can see there, on the right side of the screen, is one of Zand's turbinates. Now, it's pink because there's so much blood flowing through it, and that's one of the ways it keeps the air warm. Also, you can see strands of mucus, and the air is flowing between the side of the nose and the turbinate. It's getting warmed up. It's getting moistened, and any particles in it are sticking to the mucus. So now, Zand, what I want to do is see if we can see the turbinates from behind. So what I want Zand to do is stick the camera into his mouth and then, using the flexible end, hook it up and look out of his nose from the back of his mouth. This is not an easy thing to do, and we can only do this because we're doctors. The dangly bit at the back of the mouth, that's the uvula. And now we're right in the back of the oropharynx, so the camera's just back here now. And Zahn's going to tilt it up. And wow, look at that. We are getting the most amazing view of the back of his turbinates. And it's very, very hard to find this view anywhere else. This is really an operation ouch first. We didn't even see this in medical school. So in order for your lungs to stay healthy, what they need is clean, warm, moist air. And it's the turbinates that make that happen. How would it affect your body if you didn't have any turbinates at all? Well, we're going to show you. Zand, I have just the thing to help us. A giant nose. Oh, well, won't you be angry? Who? The giant. Now, there's also a trachea or windpipe here, and then down at the bottom, a nice pair of lungs there. If you have a look inside, my nose is filled with gooey snot. You can see it here. And poking out inside it are the turbinates. And just like the ones in your nose, these are pretty hot at 37 degrees, thanks to these heating pads. My nose isn't looking quite as good. I've barely got any mucus, there are no heating pads, and I haven't got any turbinates at all. Chris, I'm really not sure that my nose is going to function as well as yours. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Remember, Zahn, our lungs need clean, warm, moist air. Are you ready, Zahn? I'm ready! To the, the nose blowers! Using our nose blowers, we're going to see whose nostril can deliver the most warm, moist and the cleanest air to their lung. Go! Chris's nose has turbinates, so the air passing through his nostril is coming into contact with more nasal tissue and snot than in mine. This means Chris's air will be nice and moist, but mine will be dry. This is a disaster! Our infrared camera shows different temperatures with different colours. The hottest areas are the bright yellow ones, so you can see that the turbinates in my nostril are making the air hotter than the air in Zahn's nostril. 
So far, Chris's nostril has delivered both warm and moist air, which is perfect for a healthy lung. But mine has cold, dry air, so my lung is at risk of infection. But now what happens if we make the air full of giant dirt for a giant nose? Great! You thought of everything. Three, two, one, go! Chris's snot-covered turbinates catch lots of the dirt in the air passing over them. But because I have no turbinates in my nostril, there's less snot. So lots of dirt is reaching my lung, making it filthy. Chris's lung is nice and clean. His nostril wins. So we've shown you an amazing TV first, an incredible close-up look at the back of your turbinates. We've also shown that your heated, mucus-covered, moisture-producing turbinates keep your lungs safe. Without them, the air reaching your lungs would be dirty, cold and dry, which wouldn't be good for your lungs at all. Zan, it's time to tidy up and it's your turn on the rotor, so I suggest that you start with this. I'm sorry, Chris, but I can't hear a word you're saying. But you're going to have to tidy up the lab. <laughs> <laughs>